density shows how many kilograms of a substance are there in one cubic meter. In the SI system, density is measured in kilograms per cubic meter. All substances that surround us have their densities, which have already been calculated and are given in special tables. If you look at these tables, you may notice that they also contain another unit of density. Grams per cubic centimeter. At school you may often have tasks to determine a substance by its density. Therefore, it would be useful for us to be able to convert one unit of density to another. Hello Hikyupi. My call is all about business. An inspection came to us so unexpectedly. So, first of all, could you dress nice and- Professor, we'll do our best for you. Get ready to receive awards. I wish I didn't call them. <laughs> so, to convert a gram per cubic centimeter to a kilogram per cubic meter, you need to convert grams to kilograms in the numerator of the fraction, which means multiplying by a factor 10 to the negative third power. In the denominator, cubic centimeters must be converted to cubic meters. The factor of the prefix cent is 10 to the negative second power. We put it in brackets and raise it to the third power since we have cubic meters. Now, knowing power rules, we get 10 to the negative third power divided by 10 to the negative sixth power and it equals 10 to the third power. You don't necessarily have to make such long calculations all the time. You can simply multiply the given number by 10 to the third power and you will immediately convert units into SI system. This is our first rule. For example, 2.5 of a gram per cubic centimeter is converted to a kilogram per cubic meter. This means that 2.5 must be multiplied by 10 to the third power. To solve problems, the answer can be left in this form. Or you can make some calculations and write 2,500 kilograms per cubic meter. If you need to determine which substance has such a density, look at the special table, and you'll find out that it's glass. Let's try one more time. 0.7 of a gram per cubic centimeter is converted to a kilogram per cubic meter. We write down 0.7 and we multiply by 10 to the third power. We can leave the answer in this form, or we can write down 700 kilograms per cubic meter. Welcome, our dear inspection. Latecomers, it's a big disadvantage. What an awful appearance. It's such a shame. Heh. <laughs> Come on, one might think that you are all so gorgeous here. You misunderstood these guys. They've prepared a small show for you. This is what contemporary art is. <laughs> to convert units of density from the SI system to grams per cubic centimeter, you need to multiply the given number by 10 to the negative third power. This is the rule number two. For example, convert 13,600 kilograms per cubic meter to grams per cubic centimeter. So, 13,600 need to be multiplied by 10 to the negative third power. This can be written as 13.6 of a gram per cubic centimeter. Or convert 8,900 kilograms per cubic meter to grams per cubic centimeter. So, 8,900 need to be multiplied by 10 to the negative third power, and the answer is ready for us. 8.9 grams per cubic centimeter. And everyone took for granted that it's necessary to multiply by 10 to the negative third power. It must be some kind of magic. Has he put a spell on you, or what? Where is the evidence, professor? Calm down. Wait, wait a second. I am about to talk about it right now. This is not a magic, but simple mathematics. For everyone who is so curious we'll show how we got 10 to the negative third power. In the numerator of the fraction, kilograms must be converted to grams, which means multiplying by 10 to the third power. And in the denominator, cubic meters must be converted to cubic centimeters. That is 10 to the second power also raised to the third power. We get 10 to the third power over 10 to the sixth power. And it is 10 to the negative third power. That's all, now try to convert by yourself. Remember, when you convert to kilograms per cubic meter, that is to the SI system, you multiply by 10 to the third power. And when you need to convert to grams per cubic centimeter, multiply by 10 to the negative, third power. What do you think I want to do now? Oh, Professor dear, don't thank us. Uh-oh. The answers to these tasks, as usual, can be found by the link in the description. Good luck. See you in the next episode. <laughs>